On your mark, get set. We're riding on the internet, cyberspace set free. Hello, virtual reality. Interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. It's us again. This is my brother Peter, mom and dad, and I'm Dasha. Today we're going to be showing our friends Andrew and Lisa the basics of the internet, and we thought you might want to come along. It'll be cool. Now here's a little background. When we installed internet access on our computer, I got the whole family involved. It's true. Everybody had their own tasks to do. It was a lot of work, but it was really worth it. Mm -hmm. Now that I've gotten on the internet, I'd rather be on my computer than doing just about anything. It's really cool. The internet gave us a whole world of exciting new possibilities. So I guess this is a story of how it changed our lives. Maybe it will yours too, with the Kids Guide to the Internet. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. As Rich told you, we installed the internet on our computer just a short time ago. And I haven't been able to get the kids off it ever since. Not only do they play the typical computer games that all the kids enjoy, but their curiosity for learning has skyrocketed. Peter is constantly quoting sports statistics, and he can tell you the best surfing spots around the globe. <laughs> Not to mention the improvement in Peter's grades, and Dasha's too. Having the internet in our home has had a great impact on our lives. Rich keeps up with the stock market and our investments, and I'm able to pay the bills in half the time it used to take me. And the kids are improving in their grades and communication skills. Which makes me happy, as I would sure like them to go to college someday. Don't worry, though. It's still cool. The program is by kids for kids, and it's not just for boys, either. You'll learn how the net can entertain you and take you to far-off locations and meet new people. And at the end of the tape, I'll be back to tell you how to safeguard your computer so that you can reduce your concerns about the kinds of websites your children can visit. You never can be too careful. And to help out, if requested. Though I doubt she'll be asked. <laughs> So let's get underway. Yeah. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. So what's everyone up to today? Well, Linda Emerson called and she asked if Dasha and Peter could help Andrew and Lisa learn about the internet. She's trying to get Bud to get the internet at home. Okay, now don't forget to keep it simple for your pals, you two. You guys have learned an awful lot, even though you've only been online a couple of weeks. That's the great part, Dad. It's so easy to learn and so much fun to play on. Yeah, Dad. Peter doesn't even have to help me anymore. I did my report on the Mississippi River all by myself. Hey, you know how to spell Mississippi with one I? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-I. <laughs> you know, I've been able to read some of my favorite cooking magazines online. I've even gotten some great gardening tips, too. No wonder you guys are always so busy on the computer. You're going surfing on the internet. Come on in. Hi, guys. Dad's just leaving, and Mom said we can have the computer all to ourselves. Hey, Andrew, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Jameson. My mom wanted me to ask you guys to call her. She wants you to tell her more about the Internet and why you like it. Yeah, and you've got to tell her that we really need it for homework. But don't tell her about the games and stuff. Even though we know that's what you really want it for. I'll tell you what, I'll call her. Now, you make sure Dasha and Peter show you how they've done some of their school reports and not all that cybernet stuff, okay? See you later, kids. I'll be Bye. home early. Bye. Bye. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. Okay, guys, the first thing that you need to know is that the internet is amazing and it's changing every day. Once you've learned how to get online yourselves, you'll start seeing web pages everywhere. TV shows have them, schools, Disney World, even the White House. What's a web page? Something ducks walk on? Ha ha, very funny. No, it's the name of the different sites you can look up on the internet. Hold on, sis. Let's start at the beginning like Dad did with us. So Andrew and Lisa will be able to persuade their parents about the internet with some important facts. Good idea, Peter, but where do we start? Let's start with the basics first. There are three important services you can access on the internet. Surfing the World Wide Web. Surfing? That sounds pretty cool already. Andrew, don't interrupt. Go on, Peter. Then there are news groups to share information with people. And then there's email. Email? I heard that's really neat. My cousin has a pen pal in Sweden, and they write back and forth, and it transmits right away and doesn't cost anything. Yeah, you can even talk with people all over the world on chat lines. Don't they have chess games and stuff like that, too? Yup, they got more stuff than you can imagine. So, where should we start? 
Let's start with web pages. So first you need to know that everything on the internet has an address and all web addresses start with HTTP colon double backslash. Then to access the World Wide Web, you type in www. And the next thing you'll type will be specific, directing you to a particular website, like MTV. Or you can just surf the net using a search engine to help you locate information on any topic you can think of. For instance, I used the World Wide Web to search the archives of the Smithsonian Museum a few weeks ago. I also had to do a homework assignment about the Wright brothers for a history assignment. Can you show us what you found? Sure. Wow, is that the first plane the Wright brothers flew? Yup, they called her the Kitty Hawk. So that means we could visit most any museum in the world without even leaving home? Not just museums, you can go anywhere on the net and access resources from around the corner or to the most remote regions of the world. Now that's amazing. So where else can we go? Want to write a letter to President Clinton? Would he answer us? I bet he would. Let's tell him how much we love the internet and that he should try to get more computers for our schools. But how do we even look up the White House? You type www.whitehouse.gov. It looks just like it does in our history books, only it seems more real, like we're there. Is this like sending email? It is sending email. Dear Mr. President. My name is Peter and my sister is Dasha. Our friends Lisa and Andrew came over today. Sincerely Andrew, Lisa, Peter, and Dasha. Wow, that's really neat, but how can we get the internet on our computer at home? You're going surfing on the internet. Remember how Dad said we should start with the basics first? That's true. Well, to get started, you'll need to get connected to the Internet. You do that through an Internet service provider. An Internet service provider? What's that? It's a service that connects you to the Internet through special super high-speed lines. Your parents or teachers can help you figure this out for you. The easiest way is to use an online service provider. They give you free disk to install, and it only takes a few minutes until you're online. And we can do it ourselves? Yeah. You'll be led through a series of screens for the installation of the software. They make it simple, and they even have a helpline if you get stuck. You'll need to type in your name, address, and credit card information. Be sure to ask your folks for permission to use it. But the one thing we learned is that if your computer is having other problems, make sure you get them fixed first. Otherwise, if you're having problems when you're installing your internet disk, you won't know where they're coming from. So we install the disk and we could go online immediately. Does your computer have a modem? I think so. My grandpa bought it for us. It has all the latest high tech stuff. It sounds like it should be pretty easy for you then. But you might get your folks to help just to make sure everything's working okay. Yeah, because I remember when Dad installed ours, he backed up all of our computer data so that if there was a problem, it wouldn't get lost. And then there was something about fragments or something? That's right. Dad had to defragment the disk, too. I'm not really sure what that is, so you better get an adult to help you with it. You're going surfing on the Internet. Well, now it's time to get online through our Internet service provider. Here we go. To get online, we need to type in our password. Since your internet service provider is like your own post office box, you need to access it with your own private code.
Now we need to open our browser. What's a browser? It's an application that allows you to access all of the different information on the Internet. Microsoft Internet Explorer came with our computer, but you can download it by typing www.microsoft.com. Or you can download the other popular browser, Netscape Navigator, at www.netscape.com. Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? That's simple. It means to transfer a file of information from a main computer or server to your computer. So once you have loaded your browser, or already have it on your computer, you'll open it and it will give you a selection of search engines. What do search engines do? They search the net looking for the information you requested. Cool! So that's how you get connected to the internet. And the search engines will show us all the millions of pages of websites and chat lines and games and everything? It's all right here at your fingertips. How do we decide which search engine to use? They all have similar information, but they organize it differently. Everyone has their favorite, right, Peter? Yup. The search engines identify different categories and topics. When you decide what you're interested in, you click on the topic from the menu or type in a specific web address or word to identify a particular topic. Then the search engine links you to your selection. Yahoo! I've heard of that. So it's a search engine, right? <laughs> Can we look at it? Sure. We just click on it and the next thing you know, we'll be surfing the net. Wow, look at all the choices. Let's look at Yahoo! Hooligans for Kids. Okay, okay, so where would you like to go now? Surf in the net. Okay, first we need to select a topic from the menu. Where would you like to go? Let's check out astronomy. That's easy. What's next? I need to do a school project on ancient Egypt. Would they have anything on it under countries? Let's see. First we check around the world. Next countries and there it is. Egypt. Amazing. They have everything I need. Look, you can even write your name in hieroglyphics. Can we try it? Uh, L-I-S-A, right? Right. Okay. Can we do something fun? Maybe play a game? Well, let's bookmark the page so we can find it real easily. Let's go back to the Ahooligans homepage and find a game. They sure have a lot of them. <clears throat> Too bad we don't have time to play them. You're right, Dasha, but the tour was awesome. I can't believe how easy it is to surf the net. So let's review a few of the concepts we've been working on, just to make sure I understand them. First, we need to get an ISP, or Internet Service Provider. It connects you to the net through high-speed lines. Then, I download or install a browser that allows me to view all information on the net in my computer. Right so far? Then I open my browser to a choice of search engines that look up menus of almost anything I can think of, whether it's my project on Egypt or Andrew playing games. It sounds complicated, but really it all happens behind the scenes, so it's easy for you. And you're right, you can find anything from planning a vacation to MTV or real-time live audio. The net is fabulous. What are web addresses? All websites have addresses, even the ones we just looked at. So if you know the address of the site and you want to go directly to it, you just type in the address. The web addresses follow a simple format. 
As I mentioned before, they all start with HTTP as the beginning of their address. Then additional information helps the browser locate the address you've selected. For instance, the other day we typed in the address for Cape Canaveral. But where did you get that? We just figured it out. Look, I'll show you. A lot of addresses are easy to guess. If they're very well-known places, they probably just use their name. And then you only need the last identifier. The typical abbreviations go like this. .com for commercial, .gov for government, and .org for organization. I can't believe how easy it is to get onto the internet. When you hear my parents talking about it, it sounds like it'd be so hard. I told you it was cool. You're going surfing on the internet. I saw something about news and current events online. Can you look up newspapers too? We always have a social studies test on current events. Yep. The internet has news lines that give you up-to-the-minute information from the Los Angeles Times, CNN, the New York Times, and the Wall Street Journal. And again, you should bookmark these locations in your browser so that you can go to them really quickly, like we did before. Hey, Andrew, what about that report you have to do in science class about light and what makes colors? Oh, I was trying to forget about that. But I think it will be fun to look it up on the net. I just type in light and color and see what we get. At least you don't have to study the anatomy of a frog like we do. Can we look up my frog, too? I can get a head start on my homework. I'm so glad we don't have to dissect them like they did in the old days. How'd you do that? Show me so I can come back to it later. Lisa, either we're gonna have to get Dad to install the internet right away, or have Mom take us to the library to use it. And I'm sure Mom will talk Dad into it, since she hates chauffeuring us everywhere. And there's so much more you can do. Hey gang, here's a cool site you want to check the next time you're going to the movies. They have hundreds of movie reviews, and it's free too. And you can also check out the latest on TV. Nick at night, cool.
ain't going to a warrior if I gotta swim all the way. <laughs> Aloha, Wilbur. Look, no hand. <laughs> this is a lie. It's all starting to make sense. You just typed nickatnight.com. Hey, you said you'd show me the MTV website. Would that just be mtv.com? Yep. Someone said you could order concert tickets over the web. Is that true? Sure. My mom ordered tickets from the net to take me to the Russian ballet for my birthday. And here's another neat thing you can download off the net. Free screen savers. Really? Show me how to do that. I hate the ones we have at school. But speaking of parents, our mom is going to be here in a few minutes to pick us up. Well, quick, before you go, this is one your dad will love. It's sports news, and they have all the latest stats and scores. My dad usually looks up www.sportsnetwork.com. That would be a good one to show Dad. Then maybe he'll get us the internet at home. And that's not the only site with sports information. There are tons of them. Email is still the number one use of the internet. It's easy to set up the email program provided with your online software. And it's really easy to use too. You just type in the name of the person you're sending it to and your message. What could be simpler? And here are some places you can get free email www.juno.com and www.mailzone.com What about if I want to do my own homepage? Now that's a big project. <laughs> You'd better get someone to help you. But you can get a head start at www.cnet.com centralhandspagemail.html Hey guys, Andrew and Lisa's mom's gonna be honking any minute. Better pack up your stuff. Thanks, Mrs. Jameson. Well, you're welcome, Andrew. So, did you learn anything important today? Are you kidding? I can't go another day without the internet. Peter showed me how to look up all the information I need on my school project about Egypt. Great. <laughs> we looked up school stuff and MTV. That oh. was really cool. Well, good. I'm glad you got some of the important stuff done before you went to the games and MTV, Dasha. 
We did, Mom. We looked all over Egypt, Cape Canaveral, dissecting virtual frogs. We've been very busy. <laughs> well, I'm sure your folks will get it for you soon enough. I know we just love it. The kids are on it all the time between their homework and games, and I use it for new recipes and gardening tips. And Mr. Jameson gets up to the minute stock reports, and I could go on and on. But you better get going before your mom wonders what you're doing. <laughs> that was definitely cool. Thanks, dude. Bye. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs> See you on the net. Call me the minute you get an email address. Okay. <laughs> and Andrew, we can play interactive games on the net together. Yes. Bye. Bye. You're going surfing on the internet. As a parent, I've never been happier than when my children ask their friends over for an internet computer party. I'd like to add a word about safety, though. You have to remember the internet is not a regulated environment, so the quality and accuracy of various informational offerings can differ quite a bit. There may even be a concern if your children should access some of them. So, go online with them on the net. Or, set your Microsoft Internet Explorer browser to only accept G-rated sites. Well, how did our kids do as cyber teachers? Oh, they were big stars, of course. Oh, but honey, did you know you could dissect a virtual frog on the Internet? Ooh. <laughs> oh, did you get those Rolling Stone concert tickets? And the whole family can go, right? I mean, you can buy tickets online. I don't know. What do you think, kids? Yeah. Surf's up. See you on the net. On the mark, get set. We're riding on the Internet. Cyberspace set free. Hello, virtual reality. Interactive appetite. Searching for a website. A window to the world. Got to get online. Take a spin. Now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the Internet.